In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble the dethatcher. Throughout the assembly, do not fully tighten any bolts until directed. You'll also find it helpful to elevate the tine shield throughout the assembly. To begin, place the tine shield flange up as shown. Then align the lift plate, part 6. Then secure it with 4 5 16 by 1 inch hex bolts, part 14. And 4 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part 19. Fully tighten them now. Next, align two hitch arm mount brackets, part 8, and loosely secure them with a 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolt, part 14, and a 5 16 inch nylock nut, part 19. Then align four angle brackets, part 20, and loosely secure each one of them with a 5 16 by 1 inch hex bolt, part 14, and a 5 16 inch nylock nut, part 19. Next, secure two hitch arm mounts, part 9, and loosely secure each of them with a 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolt, part 14, and a 5 16 inch nylock nut, part 19. Then, through the side of the hitch mount arms, loosely secure two 5 16 by 1 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts, part 13, with two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part 19. Now, align two hitch brackets, part 7, and loosely secure them with two 5 16 inch by 2 inch hex bolts, part 12, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part 19, down through the top. Now, go back and fully tighten the bolts that fasten the hitch mount arms to the angle brackets and the hitch mount arm brackets as shown here. Tighten the inner angle brackets. Do not tighten the outer brackets yet. Now fully tighten all the bolts at the hitch end. Align the axle bracket, part 4, with the two outer angle brackets and insert two 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part 14, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part 19. Tighten the nuts fully. Then loosen them half a turn so that the bracket can just be moved. Then secure the outer angle brackets. Now attach a wheel, securing it with a shoulder bolt, part 11, and a 3 8 inch nylock nut. Tighten it securely. Repeat for the other wheel. Next, install a spring tine, part 2, by sliding it under the tabs. Then, using a screwdriver, push the tabs down to secure it in place. Repeat for the remaining spring tines. Now, insert the spring alignment wires, part 10, and bend the ends. Next, align a hitch arm mount bracket, part 8, to the axle bracket, part 4, and loosely secure it with two 5 16 inch by 1 inch carriage bolts, part 15, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part 19. Then slide the lift handle, part 3, through the tine shield. Now, secure it to the hitch arm mount bracket with a 5 16 by 1 inch hex bolt and a 5 16 inch nylock nut part 19. Fully tighten it now. Next, put the lift handle in the transport position. While pushing the bottom of the lift handle to the right, fully secure the bolts. Your 48-inch Tiny Thatcher is now fully assembled and ready to use.